to people that don't listen to it, it's not like a melody catching. Like it's the complete opposite from any pop music. Isn't it obvious? It's people want to belong and metal is not quick yeah. to the... I used to not like it. And then I, I don't know what flavor. Uh, I think they don't like it because it's, it's really loud and it's aggressive. It scares people. It's scary music. This is not a metal documentary. I'm not going to convince you to listen to metal because frankly i don't either i don't like metal my music choices have been questioned by most who know me but i just don't get metal this is me trying to figure out what the fuck i'm missing out on other genres make sense edm has dancing and i guess drugs rap has a rich political history and is just cool country music is mostly for racists i think i kid but metal is intimidating to say the least Why don't people like metal? I think it's just very abrasive and distorted and loud versus the typical melodic pop music they might be listening to. It's very different and loud and aggressive and some people don't like that. Glasgow is a doom sludge metal band. The only metal band that I know personally. Jordan is the drummer, Jake is the vocalist and guitarist, and Chad is the bassist. Met Chad at work and knew a few things about him. He loves Denver sports, he has a pack of dogs, and everyone raves about him as a delightful, bright, just overall great dude. He asked me to get some content of his band, and my curiosity evolved from there to, well, here. I think the classic trope is like, we all kind of look scary or might be assholes, but everyone in the scene is like the sweetest person I've ever met in my life. We just look a little scary sometimes. I would say that's the biggest one for me. And it's a community, like we all support each other. Yeah, that's the biggest stereotype to answer that question. No, but like, I feel like, yeah. Do you listen to metal music? No. Um, just that it seems very much about like death and the devil and just like pretty scary. A lot of black face paint, screaming. Um, just like a lot of screamy, like a lot of angry. But I know it's not like all angry, but that's what the perception is, I guess. That's what I immediately think of. It's just like grunge, angry. I don't know enough about it, I guess. And it's not for fucking everyone, for sure, but maybe it, it will. You know, maybe you go to a show and you talk about all the, all the cats that these dudes have and all the dogs that we have. and all these hilarious stories and start getting to know people in the metal community. Yeah, I think I think that's that's the that's the pitch is getting to know the people in the community which is very tight knit and, and very very connected and, and wholesome and uh, it could change your perspective on it. They think that they worship Satan, it's not that's not that's not how it goes. It's just their cats at home. <laughs> you can like metal music and when you put it on it's not necessarily like a fucking <laughs> which it is but also you don't have to yeah you can't not play this music and not feel that i couldn't quote this is fucked up i couldn't quote one glass goat line I don't know what the fucking lyrics are. <laughs> uh, family is very supportive, but they're also like, I don't like your music. My dad used to say, when are you going to start singing for real? <laughs> so, Never, Dad. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> uh, this is all Jake. Jake and Jordan. Jake's the fucking the, the brainchild behind all of it. Yes and no, I kind of enjoy the factor that people don't understand what I'm saying. It's almost like a safety blanket, in a sense. Um, what it's like, this newest one is, uh, it's about my dad who just passed away. So sometimes I wish I could let them know that's it, but I also don't want to be like, it's about my dead dad. Uh, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dead dad club, dude. 
Happy Father's Day. The kind of metal I do like is the metal that speaks to me. It's very emotional, very powerful, very aggressive. Helps me get rid of that stress, which is kind of weird to say, you know, because metal sounds very stressful in itself. Like the music is very loud, but to me that's peaceful and it makes me feel like at peace, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> or you go to practice and you maybe turn your amp up a little bit louder because you have a shitty day and then you leave just feeling refreshed, which is a, a great feeling. But uh, yeah, I'd say the, the good days don't change anything because we're all trying to just live our lives and be happy. I wear all black because that's the culture of metal and every band that makes great merchandise, it's always on black shirts and I love to support the artists that I like. Cheaper to print if there's less colors for us uh, smaller DIY bands. <laughs> uh, so you can't see my sweat stains. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes the big boys look skittier. I don't know. Metal's kind of dark, yeah. I think that's why people that tend to listen to metal tend to wear black. I mean, I just like black. It's the best. <laughs> Do you have to be dark and all this? I guess our merch does. If we put out like a shirt with a fucking unicorn on it, it's probably not going to sell. <laughs> at one of our shows, you know what I mean? Uh, do you guys ever get nervous before shows? Every time. Yeah. Nervous right now. A little bit. I feel like it's, it's somehow it's better once we're up there and set up, but it's everything leading up to that that's like, Fuck this. It's like tonight when Death Cave goes, this is our last song, I'm gonna pace around and bum smokes from Jake and Jordan and uh, walk around here, yeah, you might just be you nervous, know. and then, then when they tear off everything off the stage, I'm like, fuck, I would rather just go home. <laughs> it's scary. And then you get up there and you play one note, and you're like, all right, this is fucking fun. Yeah. <laughs> I actually kind of didn't like metal at first, but then I didn't like it. wasn't like I liked it. But I don't know. Yeah, and then you just slowly creep him. Check, 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 check. feel that joy again so the big smile cracks or whatever which is maybe not a fucking thing to do with metal but do you feel pressure to not almost no. not enjoy it no no fuck no enjoy it every second of it because it's so much fucking fun so what i was missing certainly wasn't the music what i learned from these big scary lads was the same thing that i learned in second grade don't judge a book by its cover not trying something new or something you wanted to do out of fear because it's too late in life or your insecurities of what others could think is perfectly normal. But for the most part, your own personal fear is often the biggest obstacle to overcome. Even tatted, bearded, all black wearing dudes can be some of the most open and accepting people out there. So why am I afraid to join a Pilates class? 
Metal music is everything I thought it was. Loud, aggressive, and dark. But the reality is there are people behind the music that are inviting, warm, and genuine. So go to a local show, or two, or three, and experience the community firsthand. And maybe you'll actually dig the music too. That's a wrap, baby. <laughs> Conspiracy theories? I swear to God, there's Nazis living in the moon, <laughs> and I swear... <laughs> <laughs> Glasgow believes in all conspiracies no, and everything ever.